yesterday after the Supreme Court issued a stern warning to Denidi Stalin over his comments on Sanatan Dharam. The DMK has doubled down on peddling divisive rhetoric. This time its senior party leader and Lok Sabha MP A. Raja, whose comments on Lord Ram have triggered a fresh row, he has stated, and I quote, that India is not a nation but a subcontinent and Tamil Nadu will never accept Jai Shri Ram and Bharat Mata. Earlier, apart from Udenidhi Stalin, the DMK has drawn ire over comments made by party leaders such as S. Senthil Kumar and Dhanidhi Maran as well. What is interesting is that the DMK's all-with ally, the Congress, has remained mum so far. Meanwhile, as the DMK remains on the defensive, the BJP has mounted an attack. Union Minister Anurag Thakur has stated that they want to destroy Indian culture. And BJP Lok Sabha MP Ravishankar Prasad has commented that humiliating Hindu gods has become the hallmark of the India bloc. Joining us at this point is Vinita Hariharan, BJP spokesperson. We also have Manasvi Thapar, political analyst, joining us live. Binay Singh, political analyst, also joins us live. A.K. Mishra, political analyst, is also live with us on the broadcast. Vinita Hariharan, your first uh, uh, re reaction and response to this. Okay, I'm being told, uh, unfortunately, we've lost uh, Vinita's connection there. But uh, let me uh, try and draw in uh, uh, Manasvi Thapar on these uh, comments. Manasvi, why do you believe these are being made? Are they, are they being made to cater to a particular vote bank? by A Raja and the DMK. You see, the A Raja DMK vote bank plank is always on this. And for them, it is beneficial. But what happens is when this kind of a comment is made, so what happens, it's a tri-party benefit uh, thing. It, it may benefit the DMK. It will benefit the BJP because it will consolidate BJP's attack. And also its voter bank. Because in the present times, in the world of internet, Whatever A. Raja speaks, though he's irrelevant in the northern part of the Indian politics or in the majority part of the states of India, but this particular this particular statement, if it is made by him, BJP, which is a very good party in terms of turning any kind of attack uh, into a pro uh, thing for themselves, and they would they would go all, all about it. Though A. Raja is relevant in the politics of Indian as a large, but this particular topic, when to told will suddenly become a very big topic for the BJP to say that this is against uh, Indian interest, Hindu interest and uh, uh, Congress is supporting it. And Congress's silence is on the contrary damaging Congress because why is Congress silent? It also has two effects to this. Why? Because Congress has to have that alliance with the DMK. So they have to have that silence. They can't go over and above it and criticize it. And secondly, if they speak about it, uh, so uh, DMK will not be with, in their favor. So this is the Duvida of Congress. So. This is a, any kind of statements made by any political leaders in opposition will definitely benefit BJP. And just to protect their own uh, vote bank, DMK's vote bank, it is suitable for them in their particular territory. But on the larger end, it is only benefiting the BJP. So uh, I don't know uh, how is it going to benefit the Congress or, or any other political party. But two beneficiaries are for sure. One is the BJP out of this uh, kind of statement because BJP is going to go all about it uh, after the statement is made. And second is BJP because the local politics of the DMK will be benefited out of it. Yes, let me uh, take that across to, uh, uh, you know, to uh, <coughs> Binay Singh as well. Binay Singh, uh, you know, what do you make of these comments by Raja? Uh, what kind of action would you demand that the DMK take against him? And do you expect they will or... Would they encourage such comments because it helps them politically, is what Manasvi says. Now look, uh, why DMK will take any action on A Raja? Because both are on the same page. It is not A Raja's statement, but in fact it is, you know, DMK's line, political line. So let me explain this. You know, by furthering the fault lines of society, either it is caste divide or it is north versus south divide, or making such comments on Sanatan Dharma, anything like that. It may serve any party's political purpose. But it also raises concerns about internal security. Why I say internal security? But because this is a modus operandi. You blend social engineering into with propaganda and it is used as a weapon. So it furthers the fault line of Indian society, which we celebrate as diversity, that it is put forward like a difference. And it is used like a weapon. Why I say weapon? Because weapon is something which explodes or which inflicts external injury. But this kind of propaganda blended with social engineering, it implodes the society from within. So when, you know, uh, Bharti and the party, they did well in the north. So suddenly the very next uh, hour, uh, north versus south divide that started. And you see that 
प्री मतलब रेडीमेड टी शर्ट विथ स्लोगन एंटी नॉर्थ स्लोगन दे वेर बींग डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एंड मेनी यू नो वेरी बिग फिल्म स्टार्स फ्रॉम साउथ एंड मेनी पॉलिटिकल लीडर्स मेनी एक्टिविस्ट दे केम विथ दो टी शर्ट दे वेर हैविंग एंटी नॉर्थ स्लोगन रिटर्न ऑन दैम सो इट इज अ प्री प्लान आइडिया एंड इम्प्लीमेंटेड एंड इट्स अ मोडस ऑफ प्रेंड आई इट इज नथिंग ऑर्गेनिक इट इज वेरी इनऑर्गेनिक and it has served the political purpose in the past of these dmks and many regional parties but i think you know as an electorate the indians across the country across caste and across you know economic uh, 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 this thing we have matured and we have moved into the next league in the new league so people are not going to fill into trap by these you know slogans these slogans of hatred nobody you if you feel that you are massaging ego of certain community of certain a, a certain pocket this is not going to happen but the nation loving people the nation loving citizens the mature electorate they are they are they will take cognizance of that because it is development which is going it which is a concern for them it is it is uh, the development parameters bijli sadak pani shiksha swasth rozgar not you know dividing caste dividing religions this that uh, this is a whole tactic and this is not going to work uh, again and again but again i'll say that it's a concern for national security though there are no laws you know strict laws to deal with such you know a uh, kind of statements uh, those those who uh, can those have the you know potential to steer a, a civil war kind of uh, thing those who have the potential to create a mass divide in the country but certainly uh, it's a, it's an act of you know uh, anti national uh, it's a national anti national activity it not politics you cannot go away by saying that this is sheer politics this is not politics and when you talk about congress congress has a history you see what these guys have done in karnataka you know chanting anti pakistan <laughs> slogans so anything which is anti india that is loved by you know congress and its alliance partners the india alliance partners so if if somebody says uh, raises a slogan in jnu the next day you know rahul gandhi welcomes them with you know garlands and he becomes a very you know prominent leader he gets a very prominent position in congress so congress has started all this from the very beginning not congress before that the british has started this divide and rule policy then the baton was handed over to congress and this disease was you know this this uh, disease was spread by congress to the regional parties so that is congress who is to blame for uh, you know such such uh, uh, things which create a challenge for the national security it is not politics you cannot go away by simply saying that it is a political uh, statement or a political statement i don't agree with that Okay, let me uh, yes. yes, let me take that to A K Mishra as well. A K Mishra, uh, you know, uh, clearly, of course, uh, this is something that you know uh, it has become a pattern with the D M K. It's not an isolated statement. It's become a pattern with the D M K. Why do you believe they are making such uh, statements? Which vote bank are they trying to appease? Uh, and do you believe that in this case, even though the B J P and others are calling for it, there will be any action taken on A R J? this is merely not only a pattern it is a well full crafted pattern deliberately it has been developed and it has been introduced in political phenomenon particularly if we see if you are going to chant jai shri ram or not going to chant jai shri ram it's fair enough there is no enforcement either by uh, sanatan religion or by constitution see as we are a secular country if you are not chanting jai shri ram not an issue but going up to the level of hate creating a hate hating to particular any community or any society it is definitely a very wrong pattern the uh, the <clears throat> several other uh, you can say the reason may be behind this that for example they have dominated particular in particularly tamil nadu since last many years only and only based on hindu as well as the anti hindu type of the you can say the propaganda once again or once a while if they are going to chant jai shri ram so whatever they have you uh, you, uh, you can say cultivated in last many decade all these are going to get vanished however this is not the fact this is not the situation that people get angry uh, uh, otherwise on other hand it will uh, improve their vote bank if they are going to take uh, you can say the each and every religion in similar pattern or matter matter but they are thinking that uh, how to consolidate their vote bank how to get a, stick, a sticky 
with their past vote bank only and only one panda is there uh, criticizing to the ram criticizing to the sanatan or you can say the so many other beliefs of this land so i think this is purely which is a wrong concept they are thinking that they can save their vote bank they can save their politics just by means of criticizing the sanatan or you can say the 10000 year back legacy of our country this is totally wrong and they have to pay just in within few month you will see they have to pay political sacrifice they have to do for all these things whatever the wrong they are going to do yes, yes. okay vinita ariran uh, also joins us now the bjp oh. vinita the, the question i was trying to ask you earlier was uh, when we lost your connection uh, about you know this statement by raja what is your first reaction to it what action would you demand from the dmk chief and the tamil nadu cm to be taken against him uh, and what message is this sending to the electorate uh, no right so they seem to be repeating themselves in this behavior and absolutely resonate the views of my fellow panelists uh, desh and uh, ek mishra ji uh, about how you know the uh, the narrative of being fascist is actually being done you know by is being triggered by the Hello? congress and the upa and now the so called uh, india alliance you know so uh, the non starter india alliance is 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 from where this entire fault line of uh, you know division along the fault lines of religion and caste and creed is happening so as much as they want to call the bharatiya janata party uh, the national democrat the nda the uh, you know the fascist party the so called fascist party it is them who is actually spreading this message of hate and you know uh, the 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 narrative against a particular religion and he talking in tamil nadu in tamil nadu where more than 90% of the population are hindus and you know so when you hurt a sentiment hindu is also a hinduism is also a religion and you hurting the sentiments of a particular you know religious uh, segment so he cannot do that as per the ethos of the constitution it's a secular country you cannot go against the ethos of any religion why only you know against the religion against a particular religion of uh, muslims or christians we cannot even hurt the, you know sentiments of hindus just because we are a major authority you don't have the liberty of hurting the sentiments of the hindus you know so you have to respect all religions so and the bar we, we've never you've never heard the bharatiya janata party talking against any particular religion and it's always been a secular uh, ethos in terms of our programs in terms of our vikas agenda in terms of our developmental narrative it's been for all and even if you see the reforms that we brought for the muslim personal laws uh, and all of the you know things that we have done for the hajj uh, pilgrimage the minority minority welfare measures that we have taken so it goes on to prove that in spirit in letter and spirit that we are a secular party and it is now the congress and its allies the dmk which is repeating itself in 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 such hate speeches we would call this hate speeches and nothing else you know what is wrong in bharat mata ki jai tomorrow they will say even janagana mana is uh, you know anti national tomorrow they will say anything is anti national so because they've lost the narrative they've lost the plot you know and we are close to lok sabha elections we're close to another milestone in our developmental uh, you know na, you know history in india in 2024 is another you know um, uh, you know another government coming in so we have to look at what is the kind of uh, what are the you know report card what is the report card of the vikas that we have done till now how are we going to go further from here what is our you know where is our nation heading instead of that they come up with these kind of you know puerile kind of uh, reactions and their statements which are absolutely immature and doesn't at all align or come come close to the robust and develop robust vikas agenda that the nda has set for itself in the country so so i think uh, you know they are actually like somebody said uh, rahul gandhi is the best uh, polling agent for narendra modi if i you know if he's going to he and his allies are going to be talking like this i think uh, it, it's it actually furthers our cause uh, in the coming uh, lok sabha elections okay. across will, the country it will further the bjp's cause is what uh, vinita believes uh, manasvi your response uh, also this statement will not just harm dmk but harm other india alliance players like congress as well obviously see any any as i as, as i said in the beginning so only only two two beneficiaries are going to be there here one is going to be the bjp because if you go into the bjp territory this is a bjp territory whenever you speak something like this bjp is going to go all out across across the board and you will be you will be cornered here and congress's silence is not going to help congress because congress is losing the muslim vote bank which or the minority vote bank which they want to cater and also the hindu vote bank is undivided with the bjp so they don't have a Uh, they don't have a cause of speaking out something because they have to also go with the uh, dharam of uh, of 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 alliance together so that is also not helping the congress to speak out 
further further to that this is going to help the dmk because that's their vote share in, in in the tamil nadu region so this is what their plank has always been so this is going to be a two way thing uh, it nationally it is going to benefit across across the border uh, today uh, in the states we are we are seeing this kind of debates happening and it's going to be bjp spokesperson and bjp uh, leaders have been going all all board uh, on on it against the dmk and also calling out for the congress silence so this is going to help the bjp and also the dmk for the tamil nadu part and the region it is going to affect them apart from that i don't think there's anyone who's going to benefit on the contrary congress on their on their chuppi uh, it's going to be harmful for the congress because they have to sooner or later they have also have to play the hindu hindu card which the bjp plays it very well but sooner or later it's already very late for the congress to play it so i don't think it's anywhere uh, a win win or a, a, a win loss for thing it's a loss for congress for sure <laughs> okay but you know the big question of course binay singh uh, is are these the issues that you know the election is going to be fought on or is the election going to be fought on issues of development and uh, and other things that we would expect in 2024 india no look they, previously what used to happen that there was not much interaction uh, between north and northeast between north northeast and you know south of india the reason was that because you know so much the mode of travel was not that fast that not easy but people are frequently traveling across the country now northeast people they are traveling south south people they are traveling northeast and north so later on we have developed this uh, we have matured and we have developed developed this thing that we all it is the people of northeast or south or north we 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 share the same set of emotions we share the same set of sentiments we uh, worship the same gods even so this is not going to work that is what i say ki people have matured and there are so many contributory reasons for that so the the point is that you know many slogans like fascism racism so what happened uh, ultimately you know the uh, left people many regional parties used to naxalites they they were using such kind of uh, thing but all these parties it is it is lalu's party or dmk or the naxal movement they don't have a single success story which they can boast that as a social engineering or as a success story of economic development or social upliftment this is a success story the only success story is their family and yesterday day before yesterday lalu das yadav that was not sufficient that he has already launched two of his sons he launched two of her daughters also and they are questioning the family of modi that you don't have a family so you don't uh, uh, know the emotions so is this you know uh, what you uh, tell at that you are you are pract uh, democracy practitioner you are uh, 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 you are doing politics in a democracy your sentiments your emotions that are that are not able to travel beyond your family so we have two set of leaders with two set of parties and the electorate has to choose among them one which has a vision of india 2047 we want a party which want the welfare of each and every person of this country which who they are they are not able to uh, go to the government the government want to reach their door steps who are at the bottom of the socio economic pyramid and there are different set of parties who are still practicing the old tactics furthering the fault lies jati pati caste creed they are busy in that so i say again that you know people are not going to buy that uh, theory which uh, was successful some decades back because this is a new india and we are looking forward as a nation and this north south and caste divide you know that that has uh, b, 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 that is cemented and there are so many reasons for that and one of the reason is that uh, uh, bharatiya janata party also so when you know look at the example there is a example is ram mandir this ram mandir the construction of ram mandir that was celebrated across india and not just across india it was celebrated across the world and even the muslim community the congress they are they are you know uh, 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 being contractors of that community or amadmi party not a single voice of concern was raised from that community because both the community they agreed that conflict is not the solution conflict on road is not the solution they chose a democratic legal uh, framework and they agreed to what uh, you know the the highest court of the land has decided 
so we are a mature democracy now we are a mature electorate now we want to move into the next league we want to move into the next orbit and we are ego eager as a nation as a citizen to remove the badge of a developing or underdeveloped nation we want to be the a nation a a a category nation and uh, i think that is going to be possible in the uh, next one or two decade All I am right. hopeful as a citizen of this country. All right. Uh, well, <coughs> let, let me take that to A.K. Misha. A.K. Misha, do you believe that the Congress, uh, you know, should distance itself from these comments? Otherwise, you know, there, there will be a bearing on, on them as well of these statements. And the other actually, India ally members as well. Yes. Actually, whether it is any party, any country or any single person, when they are going against to the Sanatana, you see in today's time, each and, in each and every country, there are person people they are chanting hare rama hare krishna no matter they are zeus christian whatever no problem is there but whenever you are saying that i will not chant i will not say jai shri ram or any word against the sanatan or jai shri ram or ram charit manas it means you are going to challenge 1000 10000 year back legacy as well as the system which has been founded by our forefather in very refined manner just tell me one thing i just wanted to ask with each and every leader leader Uh, from which corner of this country you will remove the ram or concept of rama or jai shri ram yatra tatra sarvatra ram is there you say the rameshwaram ram temple is there shiva temple is there char dham concept is there in each and every city is there so it means directly or indirectly they think that they are more better more powerful than sanatan than ram and they will vanish out it so just for reminder i just wanted to make it very much clear to your audience and all the political party and their leader even aurangzeb tried his best and finally he said that it is not possible by myself so if they are thinking that they can challenge to sanatan their basic principle and they will remove <coughs> the sanatan as well as the jai shri ram or shri rama it is not possible ultimately they will find they will get they will be chosen by the defeat and automatically and naturally benefit will be transferred to all those parties all those worker who is having the sympathy who is having the faith in sanatan or you can say the religion of the land so this is going to happen with all those party whether it is congress and all these only this is not sufficient that you should get separated from such kind of the controversial statement this this will not be sufficient especially in india but you should also chant jai shri ram if the entire public 150 crore people they are chanting jai shri ram jai shri krishna this is not merely the political slogan this is the slogan of belief this is the slogan of land this is the slogan of this india how you can get separated if you are going to get separated from all these things from sanatan it means you are going to get separated from your root and in coming election the public will throw out all these people from the root whatever the symptom it is coming you just say Two three months more, you continue in the same world. You will see whatever it is going to happen with the Congress and so many other leaders. One was from Bihar, one was from uh, East UP. What happened to them? Neither their party accepted, nor the public is going to get accept. That's why I am saying, try to make a belief in the religion of land. Sanatan, this is the first religion of land. If other country people they can chant, they can show their belief. Right. So one more important thing is there. Right. Ten percent tax they will take from Rama or temple, but they will not chant Jai Shri Ram. But do we expect more such statements, Vinita? As the uh, elections come closer and closer, do we expect more such controversy? We hope not that you know for their own sake they don't uh, come up with such uh, statements again. uh because uh, you know it's actually disrupting the entire developmental agenda that we are setting forth for the nation and uh, this gruntle voices like this doesn't give a very good picture globally and uh, we built this you know a uh, position very hard the the prime minister has worked hard to build a position for india in the global map and so such uh, you know narratives actually take our country backwards by a few uh, decades or so and uh, also this whole concept of he talking about the indian subcontinent uh, you know metaphorically yes we are a subcontinent yes culturally we have several states which have different uh, languages but that's the beauty of india unity and diversity is the beauty of india always and uh, no but uh, no other government than this government has worked hard to uh, you know give an integrated face for india we've never separated uh, states 
decades we haven't you know divided this country we have only gone for a unified voice always it's all about one nation but at the same time maintaining the spirit of cooperative federalism so that spirit should never die and such voices would actually uh, dent this image of a unified nation that we are trying to build so hard uh, for this country all right uh, my thanks to all of our guests for joining us for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon